Hi, welcome to Master Wong Wing Chun training system. As you following my Wing Chun system, you will see that a lot of things will go through onto the training already, like kicking, punching, dropping, so on and so forth. On this particular bit here, if you're watching last one that mentioned a lot about grabbing that we didn't cover, then I will cover a lot on this particular bit here, so you know that we uh, cover everything that we say we do, so you're understanding why each thing is. On this bit here, we show you quite a few important things in the Wing Chun side, when it grabs you, what you do, how you deal with it. In the Wing Chun side, you don't need to make a fuss about it. You don't need to make a fuss about the grab, you do this, you do that. Very simple to do, very easy to do. If you're doing all our basic training on this, you will see that so simple because you're using a lot of ways, limited your body down and using certain part of the joint. And that is unique about the Wing Chun system. Let me show you here so you know exactly what everything is. Let me boil your heart. Now, as the first uh, couple lot that we talk about on one of the series that we mentioned when you're doing the punching and then the grab. Now, this is not a grab type. This is not like hard, uh, normal grab. It's very difficult to even move like this. It's very difficult. So when you're in here, two things you need to learn about this Wing Chun system. Don't make a fuss about this and you can't. Did you forget what I told you? It's the woman designed this. So, grab tight, see? All I do is this. Where, what are you gonna do here? Huh? Grab tight. I don't move anything, quap tight, quap tight. So the idea is don't need to make a fuss about that. Now some of you may be not strong enough, you're thinking I do a lot of master, because I'm the master, I can do that. Then it's all right, I will go forward you if you're not. So if you're here, load this hand down like this, so quap tight, you turn, and then this elbow come across like this, quap tight, see, elbow like this. Make sure the line into here, like this, and drop it down, quap tight. See, see, break, see, break. Very simple. See, that will be break straight away. Nothing special. Now, this is more, a lot of time you will get in, so let me go through this. So that will cure that particular part so you know why. And we'll move on a lot, a lot of this. So don't need to worry about it. So when you start to learning, like I mentioned to you before, on a form, okay, we haven't covered yet, maybe or not yet, on this, but if you want to know more about the form side, you can get the DVDs that show you. It's a lot to do with your wrist here, like this, to learning, to get that strong. Without this bit strong, very difficult for you to move in your body around because you need them to do a lot of work with it. Without this movement, you find very difficult. A lot of time when you're attacking, this is what happened. I have one hand, he have one hand. This is, this is natural. This is what you're gonna get. How to go in the Wing Chun man as you know, they don't like to go down the ground. Good Wing Chun people are not going to go down the ground. Don't matter how he's wrestling with me, I'm not going to go down the ground because I'm going to boom. I'm going to hit him because I want to go in the center of him. See, I'm going to wrestle him, boom, boom. I go in to bury him. So the idea is if I'm wrestling with him here, turn, boom. I go in there and turn kaput him. But I still got half this hand. So whatever you do with this hand, don't too busy here, and then let go of this, and he can boom you in the face. And next thing you know, you got a big black eye here, and then you wonder why your Wing Chun is rubbish. Because you didn't follow my advice, did you? You probably learned from somebody else's, and they said, oh, you, you, you do this. You, you do this. Do you think he will stand there for you to do that? Oh, you need him to go in. Do you think you can get into the going? Do you really think that? Do you think, oh, I can headbutt him here? Oh, oh I can hit him in the face. Oh, I can poke in the eye. In our system, safety for yourself must come first because you need to understand there's only one of you. If you are doing the called a suicide mission, going to suicide, 
then you're wasting your life for nothing. So why are you learning a martial art? Martial art means have skill. Skill or neutralize and learn them. Not suicide. Safety for yourself must be number one. Meaning, when I that happen to me, safety first. Boom! I hit him. Boom! Here. Safety first. From here, hit me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? I can control that. Because in the close range here, uh, in here, like if you grab tight, I got a problem, that's fine. I'm gonna bury him so fast that his mum can't even find the coffin for him to go down. Because the idea of learning this is all about learning about your opponent. That's why we always have the human here to play with. Play with human. Don't play with thin air all the time. Because thin air is not attacking you. So that's why when you're training with me, make sure you find somebody. Maybe your dad. Maybe you find a husband. Or find someone next door. Come in and do some training so you know and follow what I tell you. Next thing I'm going to show you here. When you're in this particular line here, two ways of doing this. I'm just doing that movement that you might lost it. Now, if you want to do and go for that particular problem, then quickly turn this hand in and then change the thumb here you got hand in here. Then turn. See, yeah? grab tight. Here, turn. See, here, what? Very simple, what? Oh. Why so painful? Because I told you many times before, Wing Chun is using in inch power and the ways to do the work. If you follow my advice fully, you will see that ways play a very big role about it. Without learning and understanding about the ways, you can't not do anything. So if he coming in, I got this hand and he got this hand, I got choice, I can hit him here. But while I hit him here, you see this hand, I still control, hit me. See? Hit me. I understanding because it's, this is designed for close quarter. So from here, hit him, boom. I'm here. Soon as I hear, grab tight this hand. What? Boom. Ah. That's when it can start to happen here. Because you're learning to know about the movement. You feel him. Learning to understand him. this is very, here, grab tight. Oh, very simple. Yeah? I easily come in, I break. You see? You see my body here. Grab tight, tight. I, I don't move any. Watch. Boom. See what happened? He body. Boom. And that's what happened to him. Very powerful. Powerful by not say so. Powerful by feel them. If you have John, one day you come to one of my seminar and I show you exactly what we're talking about. Without this learning, you find very difficult to work. So when you work with this, this is if you get in this trouble, learning. Hit him in here, by all means. Hit me. I can understand that, see? And the other thing you need to learn about this when you hit him, hit me. See the hand here? It's right into the solar plaque, landing into the forearm here, the tricep, bicep here. Dead when the hand coming in. So the movement when I'm here, when I'm punching, that hand, hmm. You know what this hand used for? It's to make some chicken wing been broken for you to ready to barbecue the thing. That's what I'm using to learning. So when you're learning this, understanding is very important. Knowing the body, hand, have problem, grab tight, problem, fine, boom, problem. Hand, problem. You need to feel the person's body without lean. Into Wing Chun side, don't go do like other people do. Don't do this sort of thing. Don't do this sort of thing on the face. If you learn Wing Chun, you have skill. Use that skill. Coming in here or coming in, hook me. It's okay. Coming in, hit, hook. That's all right. In line. When you cross the line, elbow. Elbow me. But don't be here, elbow. Whoop. 
So very important that don't have the hand into the elbow here to stop him. You will have problem by control him. So if you have the hand here, elbow, if you have the hand in the wrist, fine elbow, you still control that. But relax, then that will land direct at your face. Then you will have big problem by needing the plastic surgery in your face. And that's not fun at all. Because you already invest enough time to learning martial art. And then he suddenly knock your face off and then you need to invest some more money on the new face. That's not very funny, is it? So when you're learning with a certain thing I need to point out so you know. So when you're doing a training on this, learning the hand is control here. For him to hit you, hit me, is quite hard. Yeah, because you control here. If you first hit me, that's fine. It's okay. Because you learn all this episode. On this episode, you already explained to you a lot about kicking range. So from here, you're learning about the line here. Hit me. That's all right. Here. Boom. In line here. You have problem here. Punch this side coming. See this hand coming in here. Hand. When you have the in line, in here must be in this line to break it. Because have to be in line like this, and the hand must be turned this way, and here like this. He can't do anything from here. So it's important on this particular lesson that I guide you along on certain things. Next thing I want to go for you is that I already explain how to grab him. Now grab someone is very important. Depend what are you want to do. So you've got to get that right. Some of you may be training on other things and learning about this already and grab and then maybe learning this stuff. Grab. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Quite good. But to grab somebody in the head and elbow them, do you think is that easy as that look? Let me explain some consequences you will get and I explain to you how we do them. So when you come in here like this and I grab in here, because it's like this, up here is nothing there. Okay, it's all open here. Very easy for him to go into the movement and try to attack you with, hit you with. Okay, that's what happened here. For you to hit that, it's not possible either because he's not going to let you come in and easy for him to worry. From here, you can start to do many things from here. Okay, you can come in and you can hit him. But again, you can get hit him here. Now, I mentioned to you before, when you do anything, safety must be coming first to understand about yourself. So when you're doing this particular training to learning, it's about learning the body. Punch me. See, learning to understand it. Punch me. Yeah? Learning to knowing punch, understanding where he is. Because of this understanding here, you're not going down here. Yeah, punch. See, you're here. Punch. Yeah? You're turning your body. Punch. Yeah? Punch. See, you're learning to understanding where he is. Punch. Yeah? So you're turning. Basically, you're here. Like this. Punching. See? You basically upset him by learning the punch coming in. Here. Yeah? From here. So that's when you're learning to understanding. It's about knowing the body of him. Where his body is. So because you go in for that already movement here and here. Punch coming in. See? You're like, it's basically like this. So when he punch, it's very difficult because you, if you can't see, if you're punching and you go like that, what are you going to punch with? You're not going to hit in anything, would you? When you punch, when you punch, how many neck do you got? How many neck do you got? One, yeah? One, do you want to punch me again? Huh? Huh? No, you won't want to punch again. So when I say safety for yourself, come first, that's what I meant. You can do many things. You can't do basically come in here like that, and then you need him first if you want. Or come in and kick him if you want. But when he kick, punch, it's the same. You're in the same line. If he kick, he punch. If he kick, he punch. See, you're trading again. So he punch. See, if he punch, then you go. Why, why you need to do any other movement that are not necessary into the system you are learning? Because Wing Chun is designed to understanding, it's not designed for that training, to knowing the movement of the body, to understand him. So when you're working, you need to understand that. Let me guide you slowly so you know exactly what they try to teach you here. So when you understand the line here, this hand down, 
Yeah, this hand land first. One. Boom on the throat. Grab him down here. So in line. Now, if you want to hit him here, okay, you can't hit him here if you want, okay? You can hit him here because you drop in the arm coming in, okay? But then if you're trying two hand, this hand coming here, punch coming in, you turn. See this hand here, you turn. Punch, you turn, yeah? So you basically turn this head, turn like this, okay? Punch, you turn, yeah? Now, while you turn, punch, you turn, you go in, as I mentioned before here, you can basically, in this line here, this like here, turn, yeah? You can basically take him down that way. Very simple. Or you can basically work on this particular line like this. Come in, punch, come in here, and then palm to the face here. Punch this side, come in here, on the face here. Okay, many things you can do. Sometimes you, maybe some of them, when you drop, and then you hand run the eyeball like this. So maybe come in here like this, instead of grab that, you just grab the eye. So it's this way, for instance, so you can see. Right eye like that, if you want. But you know, all this, you can't do. You can do many things. But we're not encouraged to do that. Why? You put the finger in somebody's eye. If you do it deliberately, you're going to go to jail. That's a fact. You kill them. So when you're training, you need to understand the consequences as well as doing something so you know. From this, I will show you next one that you need to learn to understand as well. On this particular one, it's very important that you need to load this. Without learning this, you find a lot of problem. When he started coming hit me, I learned about him. They call it distant control, punching. It's all to do with the energy you you're learning. Okay, punch coming in. Learning about this. Now, when you learn about this, this is where the, seal, the movement of the hand is like this. See, when you punch it off this side again. See, hand, see here. Yeah, this hand, the elbow from here will land. So when you punch, that's when you come in here. When you punch, you come in here. This hand straight in here, see? Yeah? This elbow will land. Now, what, what's that movement is so unique? Why so unique? Because one here, one here coming in, I come boom down here, see? My arm, boom down here. Straight down, elbow down in, in here. Now, when I start, my elbow coming in here already, my hand cover the head here, yeah? I always can come back here like this again, okay? And then come back to kick him. Now, when you punch me this way, I come back here to hit him. Okay, and he block the hand, I said, that's fine, I come in to lock him. Then I come down here to hit him. Now when I get into here, I'm using boom like this, I will able to work in a particular close ring like that, when you work, because you're in control. Movement like this is learning to understand. So when you're learning to understand my body, see? Very simple movement that you need to learn the line of the body, yeah? So when you're learning the line already, lowering where they are, is very important. So learning this, it's very, very useful. Technique you manipulate. Punch me this side, for instance. Punch me this side. See? Here, see? Yeah? Body. My weight, 70, 30, line coming in. So when you come in one, then two, boom, here, see? Like that. That will come in. We'll knock him out. This way, it's very, very difficult for him to try to work with you. And this is on this particular movement now, on this program, on bit here. Next, po next bit or next program, I will talk to you a lot to do the energy drill. Energy drill will help you to understand, punch me, understanding this, this is energy drill, learning about where he is, so I, I guide him, I know where he is. Without this particular drill, I won't be able to understand where my body are. Let me show you here quickly so you know what is it. First, when you're doing, they call the punch drill, yeah, like this. Learning about the line of the body, okay, line of the body line of the body. When you start to learning, understand the line of the body here, you need to move in, into lap style, learning about the other line to getting used to your body where they are. When you start to understanding where they are already, you start to put in like the elbow. Yeah, learning move the body so you can understand everything about him. From here, I can basically come into kick, I can basically come into move my body, I can possibly punch, and I come in to trap him, for instance, and try to work with him. So from particular, this energy drill help me to understanding a lot about the person, because I can manipulate my body in time. That's why I can move, to move fast like that fast, hit here. Yeah, because I understand the zone of him. Thank you for that. So it's important to knowing what this is all about. On this particular training, it helps you to find where you are. If you start to find where you are, then it becomes easier for you to locate your body. If you can't find where your body are, 
it finds very difficult to locate your own body. Okay, that's important. Spend some time, practice at home, and make sure that you find somebody with you so you've got a real person, even though they're moving around. Many, many made a mistake when you're punching wrong. At least you learn the reaction and knowing how to move. And remember, if you are serious about this training, you must invest in some equipment so you can really do something. Otherwise, there's no point doing it because when the reality comes, your body cannot neutralize what you're learning. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again on next episode.